Did you know that your heart pumps blood to 75 trillion cells of your body? Your heart beats about 100,000 times each day, pumping blood throughout your body via the circulatory system, supplying oxygen and nutrients to the tissues and removing carbon dioxide and other wastes. The human heart is roughly the size of a large fist and is located just behind and slightly left of your breast. Anatomy Your heart is divided into four chambers. Two upper chambers, that is the atria, and two lower chambers called the ventricles. A wall of muscle called the septum divides your heart. A double walled sac called the pericardium encases the heart. The atria receives blood returning from your body through the veins and the ventricles pump blood to your body through arteries. Various valves control the flow of blood from one chamber of the heart to another. A healthy heart means that the right amount of blood is flowing in all four quadrants. The human heart does the most amount of work during our lifetime and as such it is extremely important to keep our heart healthy and prevent heart diseases. Heart disease Heart disease can progress in a number of different ways depending on the cause. Heart diseases generally begin with damage to the lining and inner layers of your heart arteries. Plaque buildup thickens and stiffens artery walls which inhibits blood flow to your organs and tissues. Over time, plaque can harden or break open. Hardened plaque narrows the coronary arteries and reduces the flow of oxygen-rich blood to the heart. This can cause chest pain or discomfort called angina. If the plaque ruptures, blood cell fragments called platelets stick to the site of the injury. They may clump together to form blood clots. Blood clots can further narrow the coronary arteries and worsen angina. If a clot becomes large enough, it can mostly or completely block a coronary artery and cause a heart attack. Arterial blockage and heart attack. An arterial blockage is ultimately the buildup of plaque within the artery. This buildup inevitably affects the blood flow, bringing with it a number of symptoms that can vary depending on the area in which the blockage is formed. Most people think heart attacks grab hold suddenly. Not so. Many heart attacks come on gradually, without intense pain and sometimes with symptoms that come and go. The signs of a heart attack can be confusing enough that you don't suspect a heart problem. This is true even if you have had a heart attack before because the symptoms can vary from one attack to another. Heart attack can be fatal if not treated at the earliest but it can be prevented with the help of proper diagnosis and preventive measures.